Hi, thank you uh, for joining me again. Let's reflect together from the book of Proverbs, chapter 6, we're looking at. Just before we read the passage, though, you uh, will have heard the saying that crime doesn't pay. Um, it's a kind of mantra that's thrown out by um, authorities and uh, by governments sometimes. Crime doesn't pay. The reality of life, though, or the apparent reality of life, would indicate that sometimes it appears to not be true. Crime does seem to pay. We come across people who are clearly leading a criminal lifestyle and who appear to be very, very prosperous and uh, really quite content with their lot. Today's reading, today's reflection speaks into that. Um, Proverbs 6 and reading from verse 12. A troublemaker and a villain who goes about with a corrupt mouth, who winks maliciously with his eye, signals with his feet and motions with his fingers, who plots evil with deceit in his heart, he always stirs up conflict. Therefore, disaster will overtake him in an instant. He will suddenly be destroyed without remedy. We do well, we are wise to remember the fact that our lives are in the hands of another. We have no control over our destiny. We don't know when the end will come, for at least in the majority of situations, the vast majority. We don't know what will be expected of us uh, when that day comes. But we do know, if we trust the Bible, that a day of judgment for all of us will come the day will appear when we are standing before Almighty God giving an account of our lives. And that's when we will discover, or some will discover, that crime does not pay. It's a harsh fact of life, or perhaps I should say a fact of death, that actually whatever prosperity or material goodies we might build up in this life, we won't be able to take them with us. And uh, what we will be asked to do when we have died is to give an account of our lives. And what God is looking for is um, f not for us to have built up, usually at the expense of others, some earthly riches, the sort of stuff that moth and rust destroys, as Jesus puts it, uh, but that we will have built up a bank account of goodness and kindness and faithfulness and love and all the other fruit of the Spirit that we're spo that is spoken of by Paul. We are not to be like those who wink maliciously and try and uh, encourage others into no good, but we're to be those who live diligently and live well and live positively for our God. Let's pray together and ask Lord for your help in doing that because uh, you are our God, we are your people, we are in your hands. Help us, Lord, to worship you with all of our being and in everything that we do for your glory. Amen. Amen. May you have a good day today and a day when you are able to worship God with all your being. God bless you.